right, well, that's the shack we're going to right there. Literally, the shack. Like, shack. It's called Lift Espresso. <laughs> Okay, so we got a halfway full car, see? Hi. Over there, over there, back there. Uh, I don't know what he just said. Three fourths. Three, three fourths. fourths. Okay, we're gonna use measuring cups from now on for measuring the car capacity. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, of course, I've got almost a full car because why? Milkshakes. That's the only time they come to the yard. Oh wait, that's a different song. Um, anyway, so we're gonna go get some milkshake at a different place that doesn't have french fries so they're breaking my cardinal rules so they better be worth it there's a coffee place up here that apparently makes really good milkshakes so we're gonna find out if they make really good milkshakes i don't know um so we're gonna find out and uh, i got two taste testers this time but no french fries all right well that's the shack we're going to right there literally is a shack like shack it's called Lift Espresso. There's the menus. They have all sorts of stuff here. We're getting the dead chicks. So it's kind of neat in there. It's very coffee-like. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, what do you got over there? I got a caramel milkshake. A caramel milkshake. That's yes. quite a caramel milkshake. It's got a lot of caramel. Yeah. They said they'd make anything we want. Literally. Yeah. Literally said, whatever flavor you want, I can make it. Which is a pretty big, that's a statement. Because I can think of some flavors I ain't going to be able to make. But we'll try that next time. So, yeah. We got that caramel nightmare. And then back there, the dude. We got a creamsicle. He got the creamsicle, which listed on their menu. So it must be their specialty. All right, dude. Try it out, man. Tell me what it's like. What do you got, bro? What do you got, bro? What do you got, bro? It's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good. It's really thick. It has a thick feeling. So it's like real milk and ice yeah. cream shake. All right, what do you got there, bro? Bro is. Mm. Definitely caramel. He's right. They are thick milkshakes. Is everything good or is it hateful? No, I really like it. It's good. She spit in it. No, it's definitely like real milk and everything. That's good. Yeah. You like that, dude? Yeah. How's it, how's this rank on our milkshake scale? You remember we got the, Mc, the yeah. McDonald's, the Sonics, the what else did we rate? We call it Dairy Queen. Yeah, Dairy Queen. What do you got, bro? I'd say it's pretty high up there, actually. Pretty high up there. Yeah. Really, that's pretty high marks, man. Yeah. It, these these ones would actually go really well with fries if uh, they had them. These are like perfect for fries. Uh, it's so painful to hear. What do you think? Is that a high ranking shake? Uh, I mean, I don't have much to compare it to, but well, I think it's So good. right now, your brother's got McDonald's as number one. Oh, okay. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. What's that, what's that shake rank? Uh, Is it better than McDonald's? Because you've had that. Um, oh. oh I don't know. Bad. I think it would be under McDonald's, but it is close. <gasps> wow. Under the McDonald's. The thing about McDonald's is their shakes are, like, super thick. Um, and, like, they do go pretty good with the fries and everything. And these are really good, but I just don't think they're as great. I don't know. It looks really good. It is. It's definitely really caramely. It's better, like, I feel like McDonald's vanilla beats this, but McDonald's caramel is worse than this. Wow. All right, dude. What's your opinion? Is it higher than the McDonald's or not? Mm, I think about it. I, McDonald's oh. is going to be higher. Wow. Just because of the mix with fries. If I tried this with fries, it might actually be almost equal to it. So I think I've tainted everybody's opinion of shakes with fries because if they don't get the fries and the shake sucks. So that may be a problem for shake rating. But um, they look really good. I can smell Morgan's from over here. They so so there's a lot of caramel. Yeah. I can smell it. It's like, you want some milkshake with that caramel cup? It's <laughs> crazy. definitely didn't skip out on the caramel. Yeah, it's crazy. So I just tried them because I'm driving. I only have two hands, so I had to, like, put you down. Um, there's nothing wrong with those milkshakes. They're really good. Morgan's is stellar. 
Um, and I, and the dudes is really creamsicle. I, I think, I think the children are biased because of the fry issue. I think that's the problem. Those milkshakes are rock star. I will have to try the ultimate test is the strawberry, but I'll have to try that another time. But yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good shake, right? Mm-hmm. Look at all that caramel. Yeah, it's, it's covered insane. in caramel. <laughs> Plenty good. Do you figure out your ranking yet, dude? Yeah, I'd say these would be above McDonald's. If, what? Okay. If, if McDonald's was a lot without fries. I'd say so equal I equal footing, equal footing. Milkshake shakes to these guys' shakes, it beats M McDonald's. I'd say it's equal to McDonald's. Equal. I agree. Without the fries and like other McDonald's stuff, then this is better than just a uh, average McDonald's wow. shake. Because like I really like the vanilla McDonald's shakes, but like I usually have them with like the other McDonald's food. So. So yes. On an even footing, without the fries. These are equal to the McDonald's. So if you're ever in the claw, we'll put the information down below so you guys can look these folks up. The Lyft Espresso Shack. Um, you can check it out when you go up to see Mount Rainier. It's a pretty good place.